Things find me. It's a solid one. Nice little chunk. I'll take them. See you later, buddy. What's going on, fishing fam? Today we're out here at El Cap. I'm with my buddy Jerry, and uh, we got some shiners. Hopefully, we can get on some bass. We're gonna rent a boat, but they ran out of boats, so we gotta wait. In the meantime, we're just gonna be tossing some shiners around by this dock. Hopefully we don't get kicked off. Uh, that's about it. And uh, we're out here early, so hopefully we can get on some. Hoping to stick a big one today. Uh, that's it, stay tuned. There's a ton of grass, huh? There's a bass staring right at my shiner. Oh shit. Oh my god. Giant. Dude, like an eight pounder. I swear to god. Oh my god. Just swam under the dock. No joke. Oh my god, I'm stuck too. Nope. Go under the dock. Go under the dock. I swear to god, bro. Huge. Got him. Jerry. Small one. Got this little guy. He's bleeding, so we're gonna get him back. It's a little, little buddy. Oh. Did he have it? Yeah. Dude, I swear to God, I see two more. They're going towards it. Oh. There's two right here by my shiner, dude. One of my poles is gonna get hit, bro. I know it. Got to. My shiner game must be off or something. It's been a while. Since I use shiners. Oh my god. Huge. Dude. It's going under the dock. The one I saw was twice that big. Whoa. The one I saw was literally twice that big, no lie. Oh! I had one on as soon as I dropped it down. It came off. Yeah, it was small though, I saw it. As soon as I dropped it down, my line started going out. Bro, that bass was... It was like five pounds. As soon as I dropped that shiner down over there, went my line started peeling off. What? What? 
There's a dead shiner that I lost on top of the water and a bass is about to blow up on it. Really? Yeah. Like a three or four pounder. He came up to it and looked at it. That was low-key fun on the spinning rod. Just got a decent one, guys. Wasn't recording, sorry about that, but gonna get the release on him. Dipping from something. Oh, I just missed another one. Yeah. It was ticking it hard, bro. It's like tick, 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 tick. Oh, they're here. All right, guys, so we weren't having a whole lot of luck on the bass thing once we rented the boat. So now we're just uh, at this little dock trying to catch bluegill and i've caught one and uh, i just missed another one so hopefully we can get on some slap slap Damn. i want to hit it right under the dock like literally right under it like two like a foot of line It's a female. <laughs> I'm telling you, they've been the shit out of you. Jerry! Ah, oh, he just popped off. I'm about to uh, swim this over the top of the ground. Something different. Oh, down. Crushed it as I was swimming it. Good. Yep, I saw him hit it. Oh no, he got me wedged. He got me wedged. He's stuck in something. No, I got it. He's in there. He's in there. Uh, grass panda. I saw him crush it as I was swimming it over the top. Let's go. Grass panda. I saw him freaking come out and crush it. Nice, dude. <laughs> Let's go. All I saw was a flash, bro. And then he was on it. Let's get it, yup. That was a decent one. That was a three pounder. All day. We came out here. Got it done. Caught a few on shiners, also caught one on the jig, just swimming it across the top of the grass. Crushed it. Um, it wasn't as epic as I thought it was going to be, but we still got out here and caught some fish. And then when it got really hot, the bite just died down. It's probably about 100 degrees right now, so we we're going to fish a little bit longer, but I couldn't take the heat anymore. It's so freaking hot, you might get heat stroke out there or something, but if you guys enjoy the video, just go ahead, smash that thumbs up. Hit the bell to get notified every time I post a video. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Until next time, peace.